All right, right out the gate, this divine masculine is ready to open up to you like never before. It's like he's becoming a new version of himself. And yeah, that's just like, that's the message I'm receiving right now. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Before we get started, hello, welcome to our channel at Twin Flames Universe. My name is Kanisha, and this message that I've already received in For the Collective is that this person that you are coming here for, the person of your dream of your heart so settle in grab a snack get a tea and make yourself comfortable so let's go ahead and see what's going on more in here it looks like your person here as i'm referring to the divine masculine is really going undergoing a like just a really beneficial development before i get into it let's see where things were between the two of you and like what the situation looked like before really jumping into this so it looks like right off the bat there was just clarity and truth that was being revealed to the both of you it feels like at the time that you guys were connecting you were really starting to see that this connection was something that you're wanting to go deeper in and exploring but it, it kind of feels like if one or both of you were in this very self-indulgent energy where you were focused on just you ultimately and it feels like the divine masculine here was feeling a little neglected or just moving through just like this feeling like am I losing my divine feminine am I not opening enough opening up enough to them am I not sharing myself because they almost were receiving sort of this cold energy from you divine feminine and it wasn't even cold what I'm really feeling and seeing here was that you were just really focused on yourself your self-worth you were taking time to heal you're working through your shadows he was we're really coming into this place of self-acceptance in this energy for the divine masculine. It really brought some clarity and truth and, and revelation to them of voidant they had been, how neglected being they were being towards you, divine feminine. They weren't giving you the time and attention, the focus that you were deserving. And so when you turned that focus and attention onto yourself, it really started to open up their eyes here on how they were uh, treating you or the energy that they were putting towards you. All right. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. So at this moment in time, they have even more truth coming in. They're starting to really claim their power. Like I said, that opening message, like they're really wanting to open up to you in this space because they're starting to see the truth of really what you had been saying to them, I'm hearing, and just the things that you had been pointing out to them in this connection. A lot of them were kind of numbed out to this belief or truth that they could have everything that they ever wanted and with you but it almost felt like too good to be true it also feels like this divine masculine was working through self-worth upsets they were really feeling unworthy of you not deserving of your time and attention really almost wanting to not ignore you but not give you the time and attention due to trying to protect you and they were trying to protect you from them and in their heart and in their mind that was them loving you by trying to protect you from any more hurt or pain but you you took it as something, I guess, personal. You really thought that it had something to do with you, but in truth, it had everything to do with them. And so they're really wanting to open up to you in this space and just show you this new version, this new side of them where they are open and vulnerable and sharing their feelings. Yeah, the next few cards out that we have here is Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming, surprise invitation or meeting. And then we also have date with a man here in a tie. It says meeting up, dating, getting back out there, plan to set a date. I love that. So they are looking towards here in the current moment of really not giving you any mix signals they want to be very straightforward with you they want to be open and honest with you i'm hearing a lot of them are wanting to wear their heart on the sleeve on their sleeve and just open up completely to you with what they've been moving through what their awakening has looked like the things that they're learning in their spiritual journey the signs and synchronicities that kept leading them back to you and also what i'm hearing is that there's never a moment where they weren't thinking about you like you live rent free in their mind <laughs> like, and it, it's, it's almost intoxicating. It's overwhelming for them 
to feel this way about someone because they have never had a connection like this. And that's what they're emphasizing here is the word connection. Like there's a connection that is so deep that they didn't even know was possible. They've had chemistry with someone. They've had a little bit of like a spark, but then it fades. But to have a connection where it is naturally evolving and going deeper and it's inspiring them to want to be better. It's inspiring them to look at their flaws. It's inspiring them to look at the things that they thought were in alignment for them, but aren't. They're actually really looking at how can I shift in my life and prepare my life for her to feel taken care of and and provided for and to be able to relax. So it really feels like this divine masculine, they're, they're wanting you to know that they're preparing. They are really they're in their mind right now. That's the next card that comes out is they're in their mind about how to approach you about this. Uh, Some of them are worried about rejection or that they've hurt you too much for you to want to come back to them. But they're in this preparation stage of really wanting to approach this in a way that is gentle, but assertive is what I'm hearing. They're wanting to be fast paced about it and just go all in, but they're, they're, they don't want to startle you (laughs) or scare you off. There's almost this energy of like, why now? Why do you want to approach me now is what they're feeling. You're going to respond to them. Like, why do you want this now? Instead of when I told you divine masculine, that we were divine counterparts, (laughs) like they're, they're a little, afraid of your sass (laughs) divine feminine but they know that they have to come in with just taking action they have to come in with something big is really what I'm feeling here so the next cards that we have out is kisses unconditional love giving and receiving affection falling in love so yeah they really do want to kiss you and spend time with you they want to just be close to you they want to be able to just be in that space of intimacy with you and that's not just sexual like I'm, I'm sitting seeing you like sitting on the couch holding hands just talking looking at old pictures of you guys or just reminiscing over the past and for them just being in your space that's very intimate for them that's very vulnerable for them they feel safe though that's the energy that I'm getting is that they feel like they can just like relax next to you and that they feel like nothing else in the world matters that time just completely stops here stop thinking too of the last time that they kissed you the last time that they got to be intimate with you and just hold you that's something that they continuously play in their mind. I'm also hearing, this is kind of a pri- like a, a personal message, but I'm also hearing like you're a great kisser. <laughs> Like they like they just feel like they are just in awe of how you make them feel and there is a little bit of fear that they're moving through too because it's just it's I don't want to use the word overwhelming but it's not something they've ever experienced before and that can feel overwhelming especially with the divine masculine they're not always that great at being able to communicate their feelings or to get their words out and so when you make them feel this way the divine feminine they you're just like I don't know what to do (laughs) and it can feel a little overwhelming we also have here twin flames uh, yin yang balance union coupling complementing each other so they're very aware of this energy that you are twin flame couple they're feeling this they're they're exploring this they're researching this they're wanting to know why is it so different with this divine feminine why is it that I can't let her go even if I wanted to why is it that even if I I do go out on other dates or I do explore other connections that I'm always being led back to my divine feminine and what I'm hearing for a good majority of you is that this divine masculine has chosen not to date other people they're solely focused on themselves they're focused on building their relationship and connection with the divine they're really working on becoming the best version of them they want to introduce you to this best version of them they're inspired by you to become the best version of them and we also have the card i like you so what i'm hearing too is not only do they love you but they also like you but because of this connection they're learning to like themselves they're learning to really see themselves in a different light. I'm hearing divine feminine that you would speak affirmations into this divine masculine. You would speak truth 
move into them. You would tell them how proud of them you were. You would encourage them to do their inner work and to seek source or to seek love or to seek God. You would, you were their cheerleader. You were the one person who really saw their potential and that scared them because they were terrified to not be the person that you could see them being. They were terrified of letting you down and failing you. And ultimately they are wanting to just let that go and just be like, you know what, if, if my divine feminine sees me this way and knows that I'm capable of this, like I'm going to show them that they're right because they see more in me than anyone else has. And at first that scared them, but now they're like, no, I want to be this, this divine masculine that she deserves and that she knows that I can be. And I know that I can be that too, because I want to be that for her. Wow. Some of you have these divine masculines are like, I, you know, I would never change for anyone, but I'm going to change for her. I'm going to be the best version for her because she deserves that. That is some intense energy here, but I really love that. Let's see what else your divine masculine wants you to know at this moment in time. So we have a fear of no second chances. Okay. But wanting to grow and transform. So yeah, there's a fear here that they're not going to get a second chance with you, that you see this relationship as over, that you have grown and transformed from this. There's a deep fear that you're going to walk away from them or that you're just not going to give them the time of day, divine feminine. They are knowing that the way that they had approached this in the past probably wasn't appropriate or was just wasn't loving towards you. They're very aware of of the pain that they caused, of the hurt that they had implemented into your life here. Things were said, things were done. They may have made choices revolving family, job, the third party, anything that wasn't technically choosing you. And at this moment in time, they're recognizing just how much guilt they feel by making that choice. But they're they're wanting to make their wrongs right. They're wanting to fix the situation. They're wanting to take time to heal and they also want to heal with you as well. So we also have addictions coming out. It says codependency, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block or restraint. So uh, they also are, with this card, they are moving through addictions. They're healing, whether this is just substances, people, places, things, gambling, anything like that. They're realizing that they chose something above you. They chose something over what their heart truly desires and they are feeling just this lack in this deep resentment towards themselves for choosing that above their lover, their their ultimate lover, the one that they <laughs> don't want to live without. I can't even get my words out because I just feel so stuck in this place of why did I do that? Why did I, I hurt my divine feminine? What made me choose that? But for like the majority of them, they're recognizing that that stems from childhood. They're recognizing that they responded and reacted from a place of hurt that was coming and stemming from a place of childhood. And so a lot of them are really looking at their behavior, the way that they respond and react. They're looking at why they do it. So again, they're looking at their addictions. We have runner here, the runner codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. Yeah. So for a lot of them, they did run. They are moving through this energy of just feeling very cowardly. And this is also why they're taking a moment to just really come forward towards you is because they're like, does she see me as a coward? Does she see me as running from her? But what I'm hearing is they weren't running from you. They were running from their mother wound. They were running from the fear of intimacy and being close to you and possibly hurting you again. They were running from being hurt again. They have been really hurt in this place of love, but the love that they have for you is healing their heart and is really encouraging them to want to open their heart up to you, Divine Feminine. It also feels like the universe and God are really pushing them towards you. They're getting signs and synchronicities. You're in their dreams. You are on their mind. They hear your voice. They smell your scent. There are just things that are always constantly reminding them of you, Divine Feminine. So we also have healthy choices here. At this moment in time, this divine masculine is really looking at the choices that they are making, like as little as to their, I wouldn't even say little, that's not the word I want to use, but like really breaking it down to their health, the friends that they're entertaining, the places that they're putting their time and energy, uh, the, the family that they're hanging around. 
And really just just looking at how they're choosing to show up in life. They are starting to mold their life in a way that is going to really just provide and create a level of stability and safety and security for you, Divine Feminine. It really feels like the choices that they're starting to make are based off of not only taking care of themselves, but how can how is this going to affect my Divine Feminine? How is this going to take care of her and provide for her and really create a space for her to feel safe and that she can relax. And ultimately they're working on making healthy choices so that they can start building trust with you again, divine feminine. That is really sweet. They're really working hard to create a life that is meant for the both of you. And they're working on just how they are showing up, really looking at how can I best prepare for my divine feminine that they really want to create an atmosphere and a home life that really allows you to relax into your feminine energy. And ultimately, they just want you to know that they want to have that ultimate trust with you, that they want you to continue having faith in them. They want you to continue seeing them as the highest version of themselves, that you continue encouraging them to reach their highest potential because they know that they can do anything with you by their side. They know that you were sent to them from God to help them become the best version of themselves to really embrace living the best life that they can and that you're meant to do that with them by their side. I'm really getting this image of king and queen, very royal energy, very high vibrational, very abundant, really just this divine masculine sees you guys doing it all together. And I'm hearing prior to you, divine feminine, they didn't really have a dream. They thought, yeah, the basic American dream, like, and get a nine to five job, find a wife, have kids, live in a picket, <laughs> a nice house with a picket white fence. But now they're like thinking about the empire that you could build together, the true abundant life that you could have with one another, serving your purpose together, living your life purpose together, and ultimately becoming the best versions of yourself together while also working through your own inner work. And so they have really had to spend some time in quiet and solitude. Like I'm seeing this divine masculine, like saying no to things that they have never said no before and recognizing how out of alignment some things that used to be fun for them or that they loved doing, especially with family. There's something here with family where the divine masculine is starting to move themselves away from their family. We're just away from what their family tends to always do. Um, I think it looks, it, it really feels like the veil is lifting here with the card that I have here, which is just talking. It says, interested, awaiting messages, arrives, healing, and emails. So what I'm getting out of this card is that the universe is talking to your divine masculine. It's They're really working on showing this divine masculine like, you, you've been all talk, but now we got to take action and really helping the divine masculine see where he was choosing ego, where he was entertaining low vibrational things. And the universe is speaking to this divine masculine through songs, through th their dreams, through other people, and really working on helping them see the truth here so that they can move towards you, divine feminine. Yeah, we have paradise. Oh my gosh. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. So this is what the universe is moving the masculine into is his ultimate paradise with you, divine feminine, where they are having this deep sense of happiness, where they are expanding with you. They are living one life with you. You guys are enjoying each other and really just embracing this true divine connection that you only share with one another. Uh, divine Feminine, there is this fear that, again, I mentioned this earlier in the reading, that you were going to be moving on without them. They think they're wondering if you're flirting, if you're dating, if you're out going out with people, what you're doing. Like you're 100% you're on this Divine Masculine's mind. You live rent-free in their mind there is not a time where they're not thinking about you it is 
heavier in the morning and in the evening when it's just themselves or by themselves. I do see a lot of them trying to distract themselves, but I also see them not being able to distract themselves and they are getting on your social media. They're looking at your pictures. They're looking at who you're talking to, who's commenting, who's liking your stuff. But It's not really like, it's not this like weird creeper stalker. It's more of a protective energy is really what I'm getting. Like they want to protect you. They want to make sure that you're okay. They just want to keep an eye on you to know that you're doing okay. It's not like, how can I like stalk her and be behind the scenes kind of thing. It's more of like, I just need to check in and make sure she's okay because there's still this heavy guilt energy that they're moving through and they're also moving through shaming themselves again about how they treated you divine feminine like this is something they have yet to truly forgive themselves and truly shake so the one thing that you can do to help them with that is by just feeling your feelings about the situation maybe healing and choosing forgiveness in that space to help them with that too all right let's go ahead and pull just a few more cards here (laughs) What did I say? We have mirror, mirroring each other, self-image, relationship, reflected our reflect our wounds, intros, introspection. Gosh, sorry guys. <laughs> so again, they are going within, they're healing, they're looking at what they did. And so in order to help them move through this divine feminine, you can mirror it, go within, use a mirror exercise, just feel your feelings on how you felt about maybe what they're upset about here. They, they're they feeling guilty about the way they treated you. They're feeling shameful. Feel your feelings on that situation. And that's going to help them start moving through that. They are mirroring to you an aspect of yourself and vice versa. Um, and at the core, you're working through the same upset. So you can help them move through this so much quicker. All right, moving into the near future and the future. This may be within the next few months to within the next year, but we have engagement ring, y'all. <laughs> we have engagement ring, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, and e-union. So this may not be that like you're actually physically getting an engagement ring, but it may be that they're going to engage with you. They're going to have a higher level of commitment. There is this energy that... They want to go deeper in this commitment with you. But for some of you, if it resonates, there are mas- that masculines out here thinking about that engagement ring. How would I propose to her? How would I do the whole shebang? Like, would it be low key? Would it be in front of the entire family? Would I take her on vacation? Like, these are thoughts that they're having. So if you've thought about this recently, they're thinking about it too. Always remember that you and your divine masculine are one. You share the same consciousness and that you are really on the same page ultimately. And so if you're thinking about marriage or commitment, they are currently thinking about that too with this engagement ring card. They're also thinking about just union with you, what life is going to look like, what that commitment is going to look like, how they want to partner with you in every way. And they truly are moving into this direction. This is the energy for the near future. What else do we have going on here, Spirit? What else do we have going on here for the near future? Yeah, so we have, (laughs) I said this, watching, looking, stalking, focusing. So I was not kidding when I said I'm getting this energy that they're looking, they are paying attention, but it's not in like a weird creeper stalker way. It really feels like a very protective energy. I just need to know that she's okay. I need to know that she is doing all right and that she is uh, being being treated ultimately the way that she should. That's really what a lot of them are working through is just the way that they treated you. Uh, the next card here is we have not enough. So they're feeling like, are they going to have enough for you? That's one of the, their concerns here going into this future energy is, are they going to have enough for you? Are they going to be able to give you what you need? Are they going to be able to provide everything that you desire are they themselves enough for you just alone without any materialistic things? I know that in my own personal union, my divine masculine is very traditional. And so before really relaxing into a true commitment, there's a desire for him to have 
his own house and space to be able to provide for me as his divine feminine. There are things that the divine masculines feel that they need to provide in order to really allow their divine feminine to relax and to just be. And ultimately, that is their way of loving you. And so the best thing you can do, divine feminine, is just receive them, unconditionally love them where they are, accept them where they are. And this is going to help heal their heart, which is our last card here, is going to help them heal from this heartbreak. Uh, previous heartbreaks before you and the heartbreak that they move through with you. Uh, this is also going to help them free themselves from any toxic relationships or addictions. They are truly moving into this new energy and they want to introduce this new version of themselves to you because they have worked hard to become this version of themselves, not only for you, Divine Feminine, but for themselves because they were tired of their own crap, okay? <laughs> like, that's the energy that I'm getting is they were just tired of how they were showing up. And the last card, bottom card here is masks. Yeah, they were tired of not showing their true feelings. They were tired of hiding their personality and they're just who they really are at the core because they were just afraid they were not enough. They were afraid they weren't going to be accepted. And ultimately, they don't want to do that with you anymore. They really desire to keep moving forward and going into this deep spirit, like this deep, deep relationship with you. They just want everything with you. They want to have this romantic love life with you. They want to have this intimacy with you, this vulner vulnerability with you. They just want to be them. Ultimately, they just want to be with their divine feminine because they know that they can relax and just be. And that's what they desire. They don't want to hide from you anymore. They want to be everything that you need and more. So you can really prepare yourself for this incredible romantic relationship with him by really loving yourself and investing in yourself and supporting all of you and your union. And the next step that you can really take for yourself is claiming the free introductory course at twinflameuniverse.com. You'll find the link in our video description below. But I just really appreciate you allowing me to channel this message for you. I hope you're able to receive so much from it. And I hope you have a beautiful day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for doing that. Again, I'm Kanisha. You have a beautiful day. Take care. Bye-bye.